All right, welcome back, my dear student. So it's time for us to start styling our website, you know, just to make it look a little better. So let's go to our styles.css real quick. And if I haven't done so, let's just uncomment this and let's just give it a, another color of gray. Some type of gray here, F4, F4. Make sure you save it. You don't see it right now, but it's there. You saw how when I refresh, what happened, all right? All right. And you can check it out, of course, by doing inspect element on it, all right? And play around with your colors that you want. Let's just do it real quick, just in case you forgot. All right, so that's the body, and we can play around with the colors just by touching this. See that? So it's applied. All right, and this is in Chrome, by the way, all right? That's the, the browser that, that I use the most. All right, let's just make sure, let's just indent this a little bit. Let's do the margin. Let's take my caps off. Margin. Let's just do zero here. All right. And we have a class of container. So let's take advantage of that. We have this is gonna be the container of our website. So we're gonna we need to make it some type of width. And I'm just gonna say 780 pixels just because I have an idea on how it's going to be. Let's just say margin is going to be zero. Remember what zero is, all right? Top and bottom. When you do uh, margin and two values, it's top and bottom. And then the second parameter here would be left and right. So that's going to be auto. So basically, it will be centered, all right? And let's make the background BG. Let's make it all white. How about that? And I'm just going to use a shorthand version of six characters. I'm going to use three instead. All right. You can use all six if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just a shorter way of doing it. All right. As you can see, the white is here and the gray, grayish is in the back. All right. 780 pixels here. And the reason why you can't see the difference here is because my resolution of my monitor but if I minimize this you can see the difference if you are in a bigger resolution monitor you're gonna be able to see this square as we're seeing it right here alright my monitor resolution right now well the resolution for this course is I believe 720 so that's why alright so let's do the header and we have a header tag so we can use header like this but we also have a class all right, I like to use a class sometimes, but you are welcome to use the HTML tag by itself. All right, so we're going to do some padding here. All right, padding, and we're going to put four values here because we want the top to be 45 pixels. This is because I already know this. And zero for the right, and 20 pixels for the bottom, and 40 pixels for the left. Save. This is, there we go. All right, remember this is the header right here. You can put a border around it if you want to see, if you like to see how it looks. All right, so you can say border. And we can say two pixels solid black. There we go, save. There we go, okay. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that just to see where you're at, right? All right, let's play around with the menu a little bit. Actually, you know what? The menu is going to take some coding. So it's going to take a lot more coding than these two elements here. So in the next lecture, we're going to target that menu, all right? And I'll show you how to build a simple menu with HTML and CSS. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture.